Hello, and welcome to a sandstorm, apparently. Uh, this mini-series in Middle-Earth Shadow of War with me, Santir. Um, what are these guys even doing? I don't know. Whatever. Get out of here. Um, so, my goal today, uh, if we actually... Better to use the start button. Yeah, because then I can go straight to army this way. So, uh, I want to leave these guys without bodyguards. So, let's start by going after Crackhorn. Now, I want to go back. Uh, yeah, to the region map. Okay. So, he's over there, which is actually pretty close to me. So, I just need to... Oh, hi. I was hoping you wouldn't ignore me. I waited as long as I could, but my urges got the better of me. <laughs> Keep in mind the main character of this is male. Um okay, so he's terrified of brutality. Uh he's wow. Uh Okay, do you have anything going for you? Oh, you're arrowproof. That seems pretty good. Wait, that's not going to do anything. Oh, Vault Breaker. Let's see. They're not traitors so much as they're the living dead under my command, but sure. Do you know? This guy weak to beasts at all? He's terrified of Karagors. Oh, well, I can do something about that. Um, uh, this is where... Okay, yeah. If I'm on my player, I hit skills. And I want to change this from summoning a Grog to a Dire Karagor. Okay. Yep. Terrified. If they're terrified, they basically have no defenses anymore. Um, I can just miss these. Uh, so, yeah. That guy went down really easily. Army always zooms in over to there. It's the weirdest thing. Okay, so that guy, this guy no longer has a bodyguard, so I want to go after him next. Uh, now he's damaged by range attacks, execution, south attacks. First weapon is annoying. Uh, okay, yeah, he's an Olog, whatever. Um, okay, he just becomes enraged by, like, everything. He's immune to curse and he's Im immune to fire. So I can potentially... Um, that fact incentivizes me to, if I go over to my character, uh, switch over to poison stuff. I uh, have to remember where these are on the menu. I'm going to switch back to the grog. And... There we go. 
What was this? Oh, I can summon spiders. That's right. Okay, right now that's summon bodyguard. Uh, let's just go to the iron guard. Let's go spiders. Spiders inflict poison. Okay. So we cleared that guy's bodyguard. Uh, that makes it... Wait, what? Where is it? Oh. Behind me. Uh, this button. That's what I want. They said trap, draw them out by walking into it. So this is like the general pattern with these guys is they have something like they're not on the battlefield initially. So you have to do something that draws them out. Um, yeah. So we're just going to go ahead and make our way over to, uh, there's a nice wick way of traversing. That's a different one. I don't find the knockdown one is as useful. Okay, I'm here. Is there anything more satisfying than setting a trap and watching your quarry blunder into it? You don't need to answer that. You already have. Ah, I'm gonna cut you free for no good reason. Human, you will taste the dark energies. You will feel the terrible hollow cold searing your flesh. He's talking about his cursed weapon, of course. So he has no specific weaknesses. It's just he doesn't have. He's vulnerable to uh, most things. Except, you know, fire. Uh, let's just do this again. Curse is really bad. It like it drains everything. Um, focus, might, everything. Uh, so you really want to avoid getting hit with curse. I'm going to summon these spiders. Yeah, you don't want to be hit by that. They're poisoning him, which is excellent. Don't need that guy doing stuff. That guy doing stuff. Let's see. Hi. I mean, he's enraged by literally everything. Ow. 
There's supposed to be a rule there. I mean, he's not enraged by literally everything. There, That's an actual trait, but, like, he's functionally enraged by everything, so... Um... Oh, and he just died on me. So, you know, that works. Uh, yay, an additional 75 monies. And I can unlock a skill, because I got a skill point. Uh, I believe there's only one skill left to actually unlock. And I'm using that, that which can enrage... Let's see. I mean, I'll buy it, but I'd rather have this one. So at this point, um, what I have left are these uh, things that you can buy to improve various stats. Um, yeah. Might recovery per hit. So a lot of these are just like more stuff, I guess. Uh, my inventory is just full of stuff. I really only care about the legendary sets, but hmm, I'm missing the terror ring. Uh, I'm missing the sword and dagger from the warmonger set. Uh, that one's full, although it might need... How do I have... No, uh, I have a different version of it. Okay, well, whatever. Um... Wow, why do I have so many different hoods? I don't even know. Uh, okay. What? Um, ooh, that's fun. Okay, so it's just maybe these are things that they added uh, for these. Uh, that seems interesting. Um, okay, so I think they added some of those. I don't have. Uh huh. Having followers and allied. Beast nearby increases your damage by 40%, but their health slowly drains. I see. Um, I don't know. I'm using a mixture of, like, Bright Lords and other stuff. Like, this Vendetta stuff uh, is interesting. Um, but, like, you have to level some of the stuff up, and that's just a gigantic pain in the rear end. Um... Machine is fun in its own way. Barrel, that's actually being able to shadow mount unbroken stuff is really, really strong. Um, there's a lot of really cool uh, bonuses with those. And because it re it's four pieces, not the full six. Um, here, let me go get this. Uh, you can kind of mix and match a... Uh, Tier 4 and another tier 2. Um, okay, so I need to go after this guy eventually. But he has two, um, two guys underneath him. So that means I'm going to want to take down those two guys. So let's go after Grom first, I guess. And that is, okay, up that way. Go ahead and fast travel to this. Fast travel points. Hope you all are doing well. Oh, 
hope you're having fun with this uh, with this game just like I am. And there's lots of other things to do besides fortress -y stuff. Nothing like running a entire camp. So I use brutalize on that because that'll potentially make some orcs flee in terror, which is obviously desirable. Actually, never mind that. I'm going to use that. No. You're not going to do that. I see you over there. You shouldn't have been standing next to the explosive barrel of Grog. Um, orc alcohol is apparently extremely explosive, and you can shoot it to make it go boom. Very useful, that. Uh, okay, so let's look at the details here. Not of my guy but of the guy we're against. So he's damaged by ranged attacks, executions, and stealth attacks, but no particular weaknesses otherwise. Uh, he does have determination, but that's not a huge deal. Fireproof and beastproof. Okay, that's fine. I want to avoid killing my own orc here. It's possible to do that. Fear not, my beasties. You'll have your fill of man flesh soon enough. Focus on the globs near the cages. We don't want them getting clever and setting the caragols free. Um, I mean, let's get clever and set the caragols free. But you don't need to be on one. There. Let's just get those things out of the way. Hi, I'm stunning you. Isn't that helpful? So, my... I, I kind of want to let my guy do most of the work here. I don't see a reason not to. But, you know, there's nothing wrong with uh, turning the tables a little bit, shall we say. I'll, uh, I'll just provide some support over here. Actually, I need more arrows. I don't know what you're trying to do, but I don't want you to do it. Are there any arrows around here? Really? Oh, that was a good hit. Wow. Yeah, it's just some sort of AoE shockwave thing. There he goes. You got him. Good job, Crimp the Enchanted, the legendary warmonger. You have to kill legendary orcs to be able to get legendary equipment, so it's not just like a trivial thing. Ooh, and Crimp the Enchanted gained four levels off of that, so that's really that's why I wanted to make sure he was like getting stuff, whatever. Um, it's useful for your followers to gain levels, as you know you might imagine. Um, okay, so. The other... You can actually get the army menu faster if you put the cursor near it, which is kind of silly. 
Um, okay, so this guy apparently like just keeps recruiting bodyguards, which is a little annoying. Uh, this guy's terrified of betrayal and brutality. Oh, and he's a soft target, which is really, really bad for him. And he's damaged by... Okay, this guy's pathetic. Uh, I don't know, care what strengths he has, because he's just, like, super weak. Um... I don't know why I'm over here. I just kind of am. Need to practice my Y reactions. Y is the counter button. Hey, that's one way to refill my arrows. Not the way I was planning on doing it, but you know, it works. Okay, so the next mission point is over this way. Uh, so that's actually not too bad of a run, I don't think. Although I want to make sure I'm not getting smashed by that grog back there. That is bad times. Bad times for everyone. Except for me with the grog. Okay, yeah, I don't... Whatever. Uh, arrow refill is what I was here for. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, let's just go ahead and go. Who's executing? Oh. You think you know anything about pain and death? Oh, you poor, ignorant thing. Oh, look. A dead Uruk who can talk. Hmm. This guy is arrowproof immune to executions. Arranged by acrobatics. That's um, flipping over his head. Uh, these guys are obnoxious. Okay, let's see. Do I have any intel in the... I hope those two fight it out. That would be... Oh yeah, that's perfect. That is exactly what I want to see. The guy who's basically like vulnerable to everything is just wrecking that other guy. Who apparently is not Ishmael's the Warbringer is apparently not immune to um Yeah, that's fine. Oh, became a berserker. Fascinating. Uh but you know, whatever. Not especially a long-term important detail. Yeah, I didn't have enough that to kind of go. Golds are absolutely worthless. Um, let's see. So what should be my next prior? Let's see. So that guy kept having... Um, 
dudes underneath him. Yeah, as soon as I take down one, he gets another. Hmm. So maybe I just need to go after him, but I want intel on that guy first. So, let's go grab some intel. But let's do that in the next episode. So, I'm going to go ahead and call this one here. Uh, and until next time, everyone, take care. Bye-bye.